and there's this thick mat of growth here. There's probably a lot of moisture coming off the parking lot down the slope and nutrients. And we've got a lot of plants coming in here. One is this cleavers. Cleavers has these whorls of leaves that come out at the nodes. There's a little white flower there. It grows on these long, rambling vines. Cleavers is a plant that will stick to your clothes. What else do we have? Ah, oh, there's purple dead nettle. There are some purple dead nettle with the purple flowers on it. Little opposite leaves. Speedwell. Little blue flowers. These are all common lawn weeds. If you go out into your lawn, you should be able to find at least one of these. Geranium with that interesting palmately divided leaf. Palmate is like your palm. It has lobes that go out from a central point. What else do we have in here? Other things in here are this chickweed, which we'll talk more about. Chickweed has little opposite leaves. And these little white flowers on them. We'll get to some more chickweed on its own. This chickweed here is growing in the shade, so it has not developed as much as the others. It hasn't gone to seed as quickly. You can see these leaves come in pairs, opposite pairs. Up here in the sun, this chickweed is further along in its life cycle. It's really going to seed on um, these little dangly dangly balls on the tips of the plants are the going to become the seeds. But you can see it still has opposite leaves, a pair of opposite leaves, and then it branches into pairs. I don't know if you can see this, but there's a little wasp right in there. He does not like me getting that close. He's saying back off. So as I said earlier, chickweed is for making salads out of wild greens, raw salads. It's really healthy for you. It's mostly water and cellulose which are some very healthy things for you. There are some vitamins. Call it chickweed because chickens love it. I don't know if you can see that whole patch in there. It covers large areas from here on out in there. Weedy side edges. You should be able to find this in your yard growing in a garden. Chickweed does have some medicinal properties. Very gentle. There's no toxicity to this plant whatsoever. The medicinal properties are it's cooling, soothing to inflamed, red, hot, irritated skin. You could crunch it up and just put some of that moist plant right on an abrasion or a rash and that would cool it off and soothe it. Um, it's also used in the spring, people eat it to speed up their metabolism and lose weight at the end of the year. We're heading back down towards the lake. Showing you how the chickweed comes out in little patches here and there. So Drew and Joseph and I are down here by the lake 
past dirt field. They're doing a little fishing. And I'm going to put together a little video here. There is a special kind of chickweed that I want to show you. Chickweed also has a white flower on it. It looks like 10 petals. It's actually five petals. Each one is has two lobes on it, but it looks like 10 petals. That's fine. And this is a special chickweed because it's more ornamental and it's not so wild and rangy and viney. It grows in little clumps in the woods. And I really love it. There's one right here. This is a new recording from Slow Productions. It's a nice Piedmont evening. Later April, the dogwoods are finishing up. I'm going to add this to our series. Checking on the goats. Springtime, we got goats that are most likely pregnant. And every day after work, we gotta come out here. Every morning before work, sometimes too. See if there's any baby goats. That one on the left that we're looking at. Come on, Barb. Oh, she looks pretty wide to me. There's Grandma on the right. Hey, honey. Yeah, she's still pregnant. Barb is. All right, well, until tomorrow, that's it.